This is a claw. You don't go and take a turtle. Yes. This is my turk claw. And I took the shell. And what you do is it, it works just like a musical instrument. Because the curvature in the in the shell, you can move the sound around where you want it when you want to uh, have it uh, in whatever direction you want. So you take your It's a piece of slate he's got. Sounds like So I just took a piece of slate, drilled a hole in it. Okay, so you have a, like a hole underneath there. Yeah, this right, the hole that, in, the, in the in the piece of wood. Why? The sound goes and bounces around the shell. <laughs> That's really pretty. And you can directionalize the sound. Sounds better than my slate at home. Yeah. <laughs> now the other one that I did this year was <laughs> well, this is. Your, I was looking at that. Here's your snapper. Wow. Now a snapping turtle will always have 13 segments. If the turtle is two inches in diameter mm -hmm. or 20 inches in diameter, it'll always have 13 sections of curls, just like your finger. Hmm. I didn't know that. What does the undersides look like? Well, this the underside of it really has the backbone in here now. The okay. backbone is taken out. And underneath the backbone is your uh, tenderloin. Oh, and the okay. old timers so that's where the used meat to is. take. Okay. It's real hard to get that meat out of there. Uh -huh. So the old timers used to, and I don't do it. I just let that meat go. Is they used to quarter the shell and throw the shell in, and that would also make your broth. So this year, what I did is what is. Turtle soup. Turtle soup is delicious. Turtle soup is delicious. It tastes just like chicken. Everything tastes like chicken. Tastes like chicken rather than tastes like chicken. Now this is a turtle shell that I made a working decoy out of, and I took the styrofoam and I caked it. So there's three different layers, and I fit it and formed it underneath the shell, glued it together, used a special glue to make it waterized on the on the edges, mm -hmm. put on my rudders, so when she's sitting in the water, and she's bobbing in the water. That's a redhead deep. <laughs> right. Well, that's really nice. Oh, nice, nice. Uh, How long did this take you to make, Cordy? A couple oh, hours. Least, it's nothing right? to make. And where did, what is this made out of? Is this a regular that's decoy just, head? Yeah. That you, right. And then how did you attach that onto here then? I just drilled it underneath them. Pegged it and glued it. Just pegged it. Right, I pegged now, it and then I put they it just underneath make the shell. soup out of the tenderloin? Or? No, no, you can make the soup leg. out of the neck oh. and out of out of the legs. And you can take some meat off the tail. There's seven different kinds of meat in the turkey. There's always 13 of these. Mm -hmm. And then you hear they're only still fish for snappers. Oh, yes. Where do you go get that feature? I'll tell you how I know about a secret spot. Here's my secret. <laughs> He's got his own secret. No, <laughs> oh, you know where they are. They show it to me. So all I do is use a straight line. Okay. <clears throat> I'll take a piece of cut bait. You can take liver. Chicken. You can take chicken livers. And what you do with chicken livers, chicken gizzards, but the chicken livers, you take it in a, a small little butter dish and you put it in salt, make it salt brine, and you leave that in overnight and that'll harden that, that liver up that you could actually put it on a hook and you could throw it even out. Otherwise, if you just take your your, your livers, they would just completely fall apart. Oh. So you just take your bait, and I use cut bait, and I just put it right on the end of the pier. What's the season for snappers? Really? The season for snappers is July 15th to November 30th. So I took the kids to grab them last year. I didn't get any crab. And I had 10 snapping turtles. No. <laughs> you had to throw them back in. Well, I always had problems getting 
There is a slot size. Okay. Yeah. On the inland lakes. Okay. What like do you this mean lake this right here. What's the slot size? What do you mean? Slot size is size you cannot measure from across the shell. Less than 12 over 16. Oh. Now, if you go, and then you're allowed three and eight. Now, if you go on the Mississippi River or if you go in a tributary to a, a major river, there's no limit at all. And then you can go, you can actually use a, a trap. A hoop trap. But a hoop trap can, can almost be half the size of that pier over there with your hoops like this, and you can normally get five to ten turtles in a little hoop trap. I used to let my kids swim in there. Here's the... Uh, oh. They run from They're crazy. <laughs> they snap around. <laughs> here's one of their heads. Now, here's... I thought that was a snake head. I saw that. Uh, that's a turtle. I did. Now, here's one thing. Sneak. When you're... When you're getting your turtle ready for turtle soup, okay, what you do is you have to leave it for two to three days, and then it's, <coughs> excuse me, it flushes itself out. Okay, and then you take it, and then you cut the head off. Then you can hang it for a day, and you let it bleed out. Okay, and then <coughs> when you cut the head off or you cut the legs off. So, we always use a burlap bag. Even when you're catching it, you put it in a burlap bag. The head itself is going to snap <coughs> for six to eight hours after you cut it off. The muscles in the, in the turtle are very, very strong. With the, with the lore of uh, the Indian lore with the turtle is that it was always known for <coughs> its strength because it could hold its water, hold its breath underwater so long. It was very strong underwater. It can go in water and land. So it was, I mean, they, they worship. The young Indian girls always wanted to man with the turtle to be strong. I ain't touching that one.